The impedance check on this device is a useful parameter to have, particularly during the uh, theatre use of the device when wires are being implanted in the heart and it's first connected to the device. There is often a conversation between the surgeon and the anaesthetist uh, when thresholds are very high uh, or sensing is unavailable as to where the problem lies. Does it lie at the anaesthetist end with connections of the cable or does it lie with the surgeon's end with connections to the tissue? And the impedance can help make a decision as to where the problem lies. To, to measure the impedance, all that you need to do, even when it's locked, is to rotate one of the output controls. And I'm going to just rotate the ventricular control and you can see here it says ventricle in the bottom part and a little formula and the bottom of that formula is the impedance. And that impedance uh, should be in the region of 500 ohms, give or take a bit. Um, if it's very low, so 200 ohms, there's a short circuit somewhere and the probability is very high that that's at the heart end where a wire is touching another wire. If the impedance is very high, so in excess of 1200 ohms, that means probably that the tissue, that the electrode in the heart is coming out of the tissue or that the electrode is in some infarcted tissue and the conductance isn't very good. If it's in the middle, somewhere between the 200 and the 1200, then it's going to be fine. I can do the same thing with the atrium, so if I see difficulties with thresholds in the atrium or sensing in the atrium, uh, I can rotate the atrial control and again it says atrium and it will measure the impedance here in the atrium. And again, this should be somewhere between 200 and 1200 ohms and typically around about 500 ohms um, for good physical contact. Uh, in the in the heart. If the impedance is very big, so in other words if there's an open circuit somewhere, the chances are very high that that's at the anaesthetist end, which is where the device is connected to the, pa to the pacing cable. And when you see very high impedances in excess of 5000 ohms, a message will come up which says uh, lead is disconnected. And so what you should do is just have a look at the end, tighten the control at the end here where the, where the cable is attached and uh, that should resolve the issue. If it doesn't, follow the lead, follow the cable along to the wire, uh, right to the heart uh, to see if there's any disconnections that have occurred.